Okay guys, so we'll just say that you're out at your vehicle and you need to look for something or get in your console and I'll give you an idea of how dark it is without a light. There is ambient light, but you're probably not going to see any on the camera screen. But there is some ambient light coming in around me, but not enough, not enough usable light. So if we want to go to the console here, and here is the 4.7's Prion. Now this is probably going to show up better to me <clears throat> in person than it is on camera, but this is going to give you a good idea. So here's medium mode. This is all you would need right here. To look in this console, this is more than adequate light, okay? For anything you would need to do down in there, or anything you would need to see, uh, going in between the seats, like this over here. This is going to give you more than adequate light for anything you would need. Uh, you don't even really need high. Right there is high. Um, if you were searching at something at a distance in your vehicle, maybe. Um, this is not bad, but this is right on the verge. This 160 lumens is pretty much right on the verge of giving back too much reflectiveness to be useful. So um, for me, right now, what I would use is this medium mode. If I were to look for anything in this vehicle, medium would be fine. Okay, now, uh, let me get out another light here and show you. Okay. Now, the next light is going to be the Through Night TI. This is an awesome little EDC light for, like, urban areas like this and stuff. And uh, so here's this little guy right here. It's a through night TI, and that's going to be 60 lumens, okay? So I'm going to show you what it would be like if you had this light on you, and uh, you pulled it out of your pocket to look around in the console of this vehicle. Okay, you have firefly mode and then 60 lumens. Now, this, once again, this is more than adequate light. This is more than, actually, than what I need to uh, see everything crisp, clear, down in this console. Um, I just, I, I can see everything very brilliant, and I, there's no more light that I would need, okay? Um, in Firefly mode with the Through Night TI, uh, I can see, but it's bordering on a little too dim. It's making it a little bit too shadowy in there, but if you bump it up, the 60 lumens is just perfect. So if you were to go down in between the seats over here, you know, or anything like that, and have a look-see down in there, um, you are going to be able to, you know, look down in there if you lost or dropped something. Okay, so now what I'll do is I will show you the Olite uh, M20X Warrior. And this is an occasion where having this on the highest setting of 500 now this is 500 lumen. Now keep in mind, I have a lot of brighter lights than this. So I'm going to use this just to prove my point, the 500 lumen. Okay, so if I go to the console, and this might not show on video like it does to my eye, but this is reflecting back too much light off of the whites and any, sh any silver light colored material this is reflecting back too much light to my eye where it's almost counterproductive and the battery in this light is is old it's well I'm, the battery in this light has had, a, has had a lot of use on it it's an 18650 rechargeable that I'm letting uh, I'm trying to let the light use up the rest of the cell you know down pretty close to low before I recharge it so this battery has had a lot of use on it but uh, the whites in person here, anything white or silver colored is reflecting back to the eye with a little bit too much reflectivity and it's starting to be counterproductive. So yes, while you could um, bump this down to a lower mode, I'm trying to figure out, there we go, almost forgot how to do it. You could bump it down to a lower mode. There's medium. Medium looks really good um, right on the borderline of reflecting back too much light. It's kind of weird. Low seems almost too low. Low is kind of shadowy in person. And then medium just kind of jumps right up to starting to reflect the whites back at me. So this is not really 
the sim 20x warrior is really not a great light for urban uh, areas where you're going to be using the light in close proximity to what you're what you need to be looking into um, I just don't find any of these three settings adequate for that uh, but you know as I'm talking about in this video there is a lot of places where this light is adequate or more than adequate and the strobe feature is just awesome in 500 lumens but uh, as for the specific need of urban areas and stuff this light just doesn't really have have a mode in it that fits me well so it'd be the Prion 2 or the Through Night TI is what I would use. Something I thought of that I wanted to say that I had forgot when I did the video and when I was comparing things with this uh, Olight M20X Warrior is uh, this M20X Warrior is an awesome light and I have carried this thing a lot I have used this light a lot and there is a lot of times that this light comes in handy and there's a lot of purposes for uh, having for use of a light with 500 lumens but it's going to be more in an outdoors area where you have where there's more open area that you're going to need a light or if you were uh, you know in the woods or just anywhere anywhere where you're not in close quarters and you want a good light the old light M20X Warrior is great and with 500 lumens the strobe feature for self-defense works awesome so I didn't want anybody to think that I was putting down this O-Light because I love it and uh, would not get rid of it and will still use this light. But just in the specific application of anything in close quarters or a room, um, if you were clearing houses um, or if you're a civilian and you're just going from work to the car, to the elevator, to the parking garage, this O-Light may be just a little bit too much with the 500 lumens because of the reflectivity that it throws back. Okay, so something like the uh, 47's Prion 2 or the Through Night TI, I love both those lights. But there are specific applications for this O-Light Warrior and when it comes to those applications for use of this kind of a light, it really works good. Now if you were clearing a building, uh, this light could come in very much handy to you. In, in something like that um, but <laughs> I'm sure most of the people listening to this or watching this video is going to be clearing buildings but uh, you know as a civilian if you were in in a building or somewhere where you needed light like this or anywhere out in the open that you would need light a lot of light this light is going to do you right um, it's never failed me yet so just wanted to throw that into this video for you guys alright guys until next time this is H4T